Hi there and welcome back to Icewind Dale. I'm Byron and we are in the Tower of the Severed Hand. Oh. And for once in a while we do not get attacked. Before its decay the statue was a symbol of beauty and Done. peace. Who are you? You look like a mage. Peace be with you, I have not seen adventurers in quite some time. I am called Valestis. Welcome to the Ar Arboretum. What? Arboretum. Peace be with you as well, Valestis. Friendly welcomes are few and far between in the hand. What are you doing here? I stand here and watch, hoping for the day that the plants will grow back. During the years of peace at the hand, I cared for the Arbor Arboretum. It was a place of indescribable beauty. Now it lies in ruin, but I am patient. The day will come when life will grow here again. How did it end up in such ruin? The serene peace we had known for many years was ultimately shattered by war. When the Dark Horde came, we found ourselves upon the losing side. What happened next? While I appreciated what we fought for and the sacrifice that were made, I am not a man of war. During the last days of the fall, I remained here and watched over the Arboretum. Arboretum. Hmm. Well, I think it's uh, what would we call it? Um, Gewächshaus. It's like a, a building made of glass, uh, where you can grow plants that would not grow, you know, by themselves in the climate that you know you have around here. I guess that's what our laboratory is. Um, the last chamber in the Celerin's hands that contained any sort of peace. It was at this time that the Celerin's hand was blanketed with the spell that doomed us all. As my life was drained from me, so was all the beauty within the our. Oh, it's a difficult word. Arboretum. I watched in horror as every plant and creature died before my eyes. So. Here is where I stand and watch, waiting for the day when life will begin in you within these halls. This is a sad tale, Valestus. Is there any way we could help you? Perhaps you can, if in your travel you were to acquire seeds that can flourish in the harshest of places, or perhaps come across a sample of pure water or even any small animal seeking a new home, I would be able to return some beauty to this place. Such things are no such things no longer exist here in the hand and can only be found in the rarest of places in the north. Pure water I have holy water, is that the same? I will see what I can find. Farewell. We spoke with an elven spirit where Lestis in his weird hand he was standing with a ruined arboretum arboretum and he asked Asked to help him restore it to its former beauty, he said if we came across any pure water, any small animals in need of a new home, or seeds that could flourish even in the ruined soil of the chamber's gardens, he could use them to restore life to the arboretum. Wait a second. No, okay. We don't have anything that he needs. We shall see. Maybe we come across something. I guess that's... Wait a second. Uh, I didn't check for Got it. Though. But I guess there's nothing here. What Got is it. There? No. But it's beautiful in here. I like the light coming through those glass windows. Painted glass windows. Nice. I'm on it. Understood. I'll handle it. Okay, here we are again. Wait a second. Um, I'm still looking for something. I'll handle it. Oh, 
Oh, here, see, it's difficult to see, but there is a ghost here, Leland. Greetings, sir. Welcome, welcome. Don't be taken back by all the wonderful items I have for sale. Come, come, my name is Leland and I'm the proprietor of this establishment. Well, madam, called Storm Fireblade. Uh, no insult intended, but your establishment doesn't seem to be able to service anyone. Surely you jest, sir? Why, my store has some of the finest wares from across the land. Just look around, look at that rug hanging on the west wall. Quality of this caliber can only be found uh, from the far reaches of the east. So he is, you're not aware of the, his surroundings. Uh, can you tell me about the Elves of the Hand? Of course, sir. That's probably some sort of title, like Elvish for Sir, I don't know. As you have probably noticed, the Hand of the Seldarin is more of a fortress. We are always in constant preparation for battle against the Dark Horde of the North. As you have seen, the levels below house the majority of the Elven forces. The levels you are standing on is a commons area where you will find our Festhall Tavern, Festhall Tavern, and the store of yours truly, me. From this level you can obviously see the five towers that protrude from here. Corellon Tower, Shaverash Tower, Sehanin Tower, Labelas Tower and Solonor Tower. Okay, tell me about Corellon Tower. Some would say uh, Corellon Tower is the place where many if not all of the important decisions are made regarding the Artel quest here in the north. As of late, most of our time has been spent in preparing a defense against the Horde almost as if the fight was going to be taken to our front door. But fear not, sir. The Artel Crissy of the North will crush the Horde long before their feet touch this fortress. Okay, tell me about the... I guess that's the tower where I killed all the fighters in here. And the officers and stuff. Tell me about this Shiverash, Shiverash Tower. In Shirash Tower you will find where the armed force of the Artel Crusier of the North train and equip themselves for battle. From blade to bow, Kailessa takes every elf and hones them to do battle with the Horde. Perhaps she can give you a few lessons as well, sir. Okay, I'm interested in hearing about Labella's Tower. As you wish, sir. Labella's Tower is where the Wizards of the Hand spend their time if they are not busy with Zeanine Tower. Inside is one of the most extensive libraries covering elven history and lore in the realms. Located on the highest levels of the tower is even our pinnacle achievement, the Astrolab. There, Lara and his wizards study everything regarding time and the stars. Okay, Solonar Tower, tell me what you know of it. Within this tower is where our devout priests reside. They provide various clerical services to us as well as tend to the sick and wounded. If you should ever need their services, they are at your disposal, sir. Okay, we already explored, explored that tower. And I think the tower with the mages and the astrolab, that's where we have to go next. Well, can I see what you have for sale? Oh, he has fire arrows and acid arrows. Not many, though. Ding it. Cannot afford. It's 16. Oh, wait a second. What? It's, that's fucking expensive. 1500 per arrow? Or per 20 arrows. Ah. What else do you have? Rotten honey leather. What does that do? This used to be a highly prized piece of honey leather. Honey leather is a really light canvas used by the elves to protect against rain and dampness. Although it tears very easily, elves use it to make tents and to protect their camping gear. Moth written. Thistledown. This used to be a very fine quality grayish material before the moth began to eat through it. Thistledown is a high priced material from which cloaks of elven kind are fashioned. It is very light and does not snag easily on branches. Due to its high quality the elves had very little trouble enchanting it. Okay. 
Well, good thing we can buy a few arrows here. Regular arrows would buy that. And I guess a few sling stones. Bullets. Buy that too. And we could sell the stuff we have here. 12,000 for this one. Awesome. I'm going to keep the shield though. Okay. So, bullet plus two. Seven thousand. Okay. And if you acid arrows, four thousand. That's sixty of those. Okay. So. I guess it can't hurt to have a few magical arrows. Arrows of fire, okay. Arrows plus two, and that's a uh, hammer arrows. So we went up here, we didn't get anything here, we went up here, so I guess now we have to go here and climb those stairs. Oh wait, I forgot to set my timer. Oh dang it! Well we should be safe before we climb up those stairs, just in case you never know what you might find. Oh, you have peace. I'm on it. Oh, okay, Lisa, that's the one who trained the archers and stuff, uh, and the fighters. Say hi to her. Adventurers? Here in the hand of the Seldarine? You must have fought past the hall below. Battle ready, I take it. Tell me, why are you here? We seek to find Larry. Evil stalks the land, and we need his powers to find a source. A noble cause. That's something my heart has yearned for. What would I wouldn't I what I wouldn't give to ride once again for such causes? Well met adventurers, my name is Kailisa. I am was the weapons master of the hand. Very nice. At least a civilized ghost. With that all said, you must have some questions that need answering. Well met, Kailisa. We would know more about you. You're very different than the most of the spirits we've encountered here. When the hand was at the pinnacle of its glory, I trained my people in the ways of combat. No one could best my deftness with the sword or my accuracy with the bow. All my soldiers were owned to perfection. When we were called to battle, it did not take long before our enemies found their forces in chaos and retreat. Those days are long gone now. Any of my soldiers that remain are twisted shadows of their former selves. I differ from them only in that I have retained my senses. It is a curse, knowing what we've become and powerless to do anything about it. Kailisa, I'd like to talk about how to find Larry. Perhaps something can be done to help you if we find him. Finding Larry will not be easy. When the hand fell, he was damned. Uh, he is now a Belnorn. An elven lich-like creature doomed to live forever. How this came about, I do not know. You may have seen Laurel as you have explored the hand, but what you saw is not truly him, it is more ascending, 
a figment of himself that wanders the hand. Larry, the true Larry, is a top labelless tower. Every time I have seen Larry standing, it has rambled on like a village idiot. With one exception, once it mentioned something about Larry's great astrolab and how it was no longer turning. Can you tell me about Larry's astrolab? Larry's astrolab is a wondrous device constructed to help him and his wizards research space and time. As I recall, Larry and his wizards were using it during the last days of the hand. In the aftermath of the hand's destruction, I found this piece of machinery, which I believe to be a piece of Larry's astrolab. After seeing the state of mind of most everyone left in the hand, I have held onto it and guarded it. The last thing I wanted was someone using the power held within this piece to cause further harm to the hand. Okay, Lisa, we may need that item if we are to have Larry help us. Your intentions may be noble, but I am afraid I cannot entrust you with this item yet. We already have several of those, actually. You will have to need to prove yourselves first. How? The elves atop this tower were among my most dedicated soldiers. Whatever curse befell the hand not only twisted their bodies, but twisted their minds as well. They act and live as if they as if in the final moments of the hand, forever prepared to defend against any intrusion to this tower. What of them? My soldiers do not deserve what has befallen them. They deserve to die in battle. They could they would want to meet their end with steel in their hands upon the battlefield. I would ask that you climb the tower and send them to eternal rest. I will put them to rest as you wish. Okay, everybody wants to kill his friends here. Wants us to kill his friends, I don't get it. You have my heartfelt thanks. Return to me when my soldiers are at peace. Well, there was a priestess that wanted us to kill her friends, and there's a warrior that wants us to kill her friends. Oh well. With that friends. Friends of that kind, you don't really need foes anymore. And there's nothing here, right? No. So we have two doors. Um, which one shall we take? I say we try this one first here. It's locked. And this one too? Leg. Yeah, it's locked. Okay. Oh, what can you, do you need me can now? Can you do something about it? It shouldn't be a problem. Yes, you can. And about that one? Hey, I said. <laughs> Why does the game ignore my commands? Here. Understood. Oh, an ogre. Here I come, and the hells come with me. Well, he's dead. It's just an ogre. I mean, come on. And there's another door here. And we get a Shadow Orc Grunt and a Shadow Orc Grunt. That's all. Two of them actually. Fine. I say we kill you. And there's another one. Three of them. I correct myself. Well, that's rather easy. Thanks. What do we get here? Okay, 80 gold pieces. Not much, but I will take it. Okay, and we climb up those stairs. If we can. Thank you. Okay, oh! What the fuck? Archer, archer, swordsman. Archer, archer, archer. Okay, apparently no mages. Fire. Murder most foul, crafts victory most. Wait a fuck. Um. Thank you. Here I come, and the hells come with me. I don't like you attacking my mage. Yes. How do you like a fireball? Here. Ah. I suppose you I'm free to do your dirty work. 
please don't let me die. This sucks. I'm listening. I'll attend to this one. Yeah, of course, the spell was interrupted. But I guess now that they're closer to the archers, um, the mage is no longer of interest. <laughs> I'm ready. Ah, yeah, Something wrong? Fine. fine then. Quickly and quietly goes the play to its work. <laughs> Wait, there's a way up and there's another way up? No. The top of these stairs have been barricaded, preventing entrance from this way. Okay. What the fuck? You have my attention. You're, you're resting your bones or what? Time to trim this one down to size. Ah, screw it. Let's spill some blood. Death comes for you. It does, doesn't it? Time to one. Best. Thank you. And you soon be a feast for the crows. But apparently there's nothing lying around here. Just a few monsters or oh, like elven spirits. It. And no loot at all. Ready and waiting. Fine, fine, fine. So Healing, baby. Yes. Give me a target. And let me guess, you lost your fireball. Yeah. The archers interrupted your spell. Not funny. What? Okay, we're good to go. Let's see what I'm we find right. up here. Uh huh. Swordsman, 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 Swordsman. That's an archer actually, but he's quite close. Time to turn this one to size. Stop attacking my mage. Got it. Fuck it. Okay. Ready. Yes. How do we do it? Here. Done. So. Orders. Now. I'm here. That we are hasted. Make way. <sighs> no. Yes. Only the cleric was attacking. Ready. I'll handle it. Here. I'm here. So I'm clicking on Orders. that button now. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks. Give the word. Consider it done. I'm listening. Done. You have my attention. So, this is an archer file. Thank you. There's another archer. I'll this ends this now. And we have Let's a few archers here blood. too. Here I come. And the hells come with me. See? Yes. 
Not that difficult. What if do you want? All work together, actually. What? Time to trim this one down to size. Who's the next? I you will clear the field presently. Quick and you. Goes the blade to its work. This time we get some All right. Can we go? Oh wait, that's interesting. So there are stairs leading up and there's a door. I'll handle it. That's a cross victory. To the butcher's work then. Wait a second, what's that here? Archer cleric. Your luck's run out. And there's a wizard. Any last words? Thanks. Now we kill you. Goes the blade to the butcher's work run then. Out. Anyone else without a ticket? I don't really see it. Guess we got them all. And there's another exit here. Where are we now? Oh, well, we can go to another tower here. Who opened that door? I'll okay, but I guess um, I still want to explore that other tower first before I come here. I'm ready. We should rest soon. I'm dying to get out of these clothes. Ready. I'll handle it. Do I look like a somnambulistic puppet to you? No, I you look rest. like a tired thief. Whatever we have to do, it'll keep till morning. Let's rest. Let's climb first. Okay. Three doors. All right. I take door A, and what do I get? A wrath You'll soon be a feast for the crows. Go back. You gotta be kidding me. Or what you want me? me now? Back. I'm Here. Something wrong? Leave it to me. Orders? Back. Done. I'm okay, listening. that's not how I wanted You're it to be, but okay. Out. I think we've squeezed as much I out of this day as we can. I thought it would be enough to report like the spiders that were behind one door and not all three at once. But yeah, well, I'm not complaining. As long as Seldana and Tolpan are safe, everything is fine. Time to turn this mine. one down to size. Oh, there's another one. Who would have thought? The silent bleed. blade cuts best. This one's mine. You have my attention. Ready and waiting. Got it. What do we get in here? Nothing. And in here? The same. And in here? Okay, a table of some sort. Hippogriff Riders of the Hand. Okay. Oh yeah. yeah. I guess you're too far away. Okay. Yes. So that's the top level of that tower. Does that mean we killed everyone and the ghost on the first level is happy now? Beltin's Burning Blood. That looks like something Zaldana would like. This spell turns the target's blood to flame. Oh, that sounds painful. Doing a 3 to 12 hit points of damage every round 
and driving the victim burst stuck with pain. The target gets to save versus the spell every round. If successful, the damage and burst state are negated. negated. The spell does not work against undead or extra planar creatures that do not have blood such as elementals. If the creature is resistant to fire, this resistance will lower and nullify the damage from the spell. Okay, level 4 spell. What's that here? Hippogriff Riders of the Hand. Stationed atop Shivarish Tower are the proud Hippogriffs of the Seldarine's Hand. Along with their riders, these mounts serve primarily as scouts but are sometimes used for missions, requiring the utmost of speed. Both rider and mount are trained rigorously to work as a team. Upon hatching, hippogriffs, upon hatching, hippogriffs are domesticated to be used as mounts. They are trained and want to eat various combat routines involving aerial and ground attacks and to respond to the commands of its rider. The riders are educated in the ways of grooming and caring for its mount, how to work efficient, effectively with his hippogriff and also in the ways of aerial and ground combat. As a unit they have proven excellent aerial support in our ground battles and are, proud, are a proud symbol of the Celerine. Okay, I don't think we really need that. Uh, just a gem and a few arrows. Of, I don't know what they do. Arrows of the hand. So we have several arrows of the hand now. It's a plus two weapon. Not half bad, I must say. So I guess we, first of all, we could use those hammer arrows. There's no point in actually saving them for something. What? So I say we go down and say hi to that elven spirit. Maybe she's happy. Done. I think we looted you, did we? Yeah, yeah, I think we did. Yep. And no, here we go. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. So, you happy? I see you have returned, adventurers. Kalisa, your soldiers have fought with great honor. Their sufferings has ended. Their suffering has ended and they rest now. I thank you for helping with one of my last tasks in this realm. Before I give you your reward, I would have you help me one last time. With my soldiers at rest, there is only one thing left for me to do. To join them, I would ask for the honor of dying in battle. We get 52,500 XP. And now we have to kill her too. Ready. Eyes up easily done. Okay. Here. She's a ranger. That's uh, yeah. She's an archer. That's why she's trying to get away. Um. Did you use all your... No, you have one left. Orders. Okay, now that was the last one, right? Okay, now I guess you could probably... You, you, those are arrows plus two, and that's also an arrow plus two. So start using arrows plus one. I'm listening. But it, actually that would be a waste, wouldn't it? You have my attention. Ready and willing. Help her. <gasps> wow. She does some damage. Still not dead yet? Yes. What else could what do you do? need? This one. Your luck's run out. Not necessary anymore. What? And we get 1,300. I'll handle it. 
that's the piece of broken machinery that we were looking for. Now we have four pieces, I guess. I don't know how many we need. Boots of speed. Yeah, well, that's nice. And Kalisa's ring. Plus 15 to hide in shadows. Usable by rangers. We do not have a ranger. But I guess you could use those boots of speed, right? Since uh, the boot of speed doesn't work with the rings of uh, freedom. They don't work with rings of freedom. So, yeah. That goes in here. And that's a potion of... What? Strength? Giant. Storm giant strength. Okay. Ready. So I guess we go up now. And now we take that passage to it. that other tower. I hope I'm doing everything right here. But the game is somewhat linear, so... I'm on it. I guess there's not too much that I can do wrong Done. here. And I guess we should rest now. Thanks. And since I don't really know how long this video already is, because I forgot to set my timer, I will call it a day here. So, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye!